What is good, everybody? Welcome back to Real Fan Sports, where your fanalists, nonfiction, and myself, Zach, will be checking out some cricket content. Now, we've been watching a lot of cricket bowling lately. Yes. And we've seen some pretty wild bowls, the crazy bouncers. We've seen some really talented mm -hmm. bowlers like Warren, uh, you know, and, and a couple other guys as well. The master yeah. spin and all, all this. So I felt like it's just time we check out the top 10 greatest cricket bowlers of all time. Let's get it. All right, let's do it. And let us know in the comments if you agree with this top 10. And if you think someone's better than these guys, let us know so we can react to them too. But, yes. Uh, without further ado, let's check them out. When they talk about the best bowler in the world, one of the best or whatever, my name pops up. Welcome to Watch My Mojo. boy said my name and is in there. Is it, don't play with me. I'm, I'm that man. <laughs> It's the easiest thing to say, there'll never be another Shane Warne because we say that Shane about Warren. people. Our guy. But there won't be. For yeah. this list, we're looking at the greatest wicket takers in cricket whose skills with the ball left fans worldwide in awe. Which bowler do you think represents the best that cricket has to offer? Let us know in the comments. Mm. Let, let, yeah, us, let us know, let us know in the Khan. comments. Don't let them know. Let Khan us know. The greatest all-rounders the game has ever seen. Imran, Imran Khan. Khan's primary prowess now, was one thing that we have been told a lot in the comments is that we need to watch some more of like the Pakistani teams, some more of the Indian teams, yeah. Uh, yeah. teams from India, and, and different things like that. So please give us some recommendations for those because we keep getting that, but we're not getting a whole lot of links. Send us some links. Yeah rounders the game has ever seen. Imran Khan's primary prowess was in the art of reverse swing. That's a hell of a lead up. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Boy, he didn't know what to think when that ball <laughs> came in. <laughs> oh! Of all time due to he was head hunting right there. And he first displayed this through his evolution oh, as a nice He slipped player. that in there? Out as a medium oh, shot. Khan achieved his prime form when he became a fast bowler claiming the best strike rate and bowling average among his peers at his peak. Damn! Oh, he ain't playing with nobody. Given away by the umpire and Imran can't believe it. Delivering such a brutal delivery. He was, he was head hunting. Like, I know we've seen some speed. Is it just yeah. because this looks like an older clip, but did that, that ball look like it was zooming? It was going Zooming. Fast. And it definitely wasn't going towards the wicket. It was going towards his head. Oh, he, <laughs> like, he, try, he tried to knock somebody out for sure. <laughs> Discipline and pinpoint accuracy led to many Yorkers and outside edges. Mm. Too easy. To read his swinging deliveries. Khan moved to oh, his batting nice. abilities later in his career. But only after imparting his genius to future legends Wasim Akram and Wakar Yunus. I think where I am in my life right now as a bowler, uh, as a commentator, as a cricketer, as a human being, that's because of him. Number nine, wow. Kurtley yeah. Ambrose. If there's ever a bowler needed to throttle batting lineups, then look no further than Kurtley Ambrose. Big appeal there. Yes, he's got the, the inside edge. The oh, quick, the quick, but the spin soon hit the ground. It went a different direction so freaking fast. That's what I'm saying. It, it, it felt like it started rotating before it even hit the ground. <laughs> it was already curving in. Yeah. Look no that further was than mean. I, I gotta see it again. Oh yeah, very nice. Yes, he's got the little inside edge. Very nice. Doesn't look too happy about it. Just a little glance down the wicket. The West Indian was notorious for stemming the run flow to a minimum, as his pace oh, you see, and accuracy you see that thing left little room for backwards runs. <laughs> Not that it was Ambrose's only skill, as he would vary his deliveries with swing to prevent batsmen from becoming too defensive. Out! He's gone for duck second ball, and the West so, Indies now right in this match. So you, they, if if I as somebody who used to watch baseball, that mean to me. That meant that his his delivery, his package, he can throw anything almost, and he would change it up so frequently that they couldn't prepare for what was coming. Yeah, they couldn't defend. They had, they had, they had it was a, it was a straight all. guessing game. It's not like he yeah. threw two or three in a row or had yeah. three three bowls. He, he had a, he had a handful of them, a couple handfuls. Yeah, crazy delivery. That's that's cool. That's cool. Well, you know what? One thing that interests me about this this video too so far is that a lot of these bowls that we're seeing, they're not necessarily aiming for the wickets or even. Some of them are aiming for the batter, the batsman, yeah. but sometimes they're aiming just really high, like like it's bouncing to go over the uh, yeah, the wickets, like they're too. really high. What's what's the uh, what's the concept behind that, guys? Is, is that a common trait where they don't try to bowl low and try to hit the wickets 
Are they trying to bowl and have it bounce high? Is it just to try and scare the batsmen to where they duck out of it? If Remember, they, du- if they uh, duck out of it, can the catcher catch it and it be an out? Like, how does that work? Well, remember in the other video we were watching where they did the replay and the replay showed the it predicted where the ball was going. Oh, the like L, the, yeah, the, LBW, I think is what it's yeah, called. Yeah, and, and so when it it went in a direction went over the wickets, they count that as a as a as an out. Remember, it's out too. So I wonder if that's if that's if that even though it's going high, but 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 the predictive you know trajectory tracking, yeah, it, yeah, it's it's still considered an out, even though it's this it's Interesting. too high. Yeah, I know a lot of people came at, at, us, at us about that rule. And after after reading it up and reading y'all's comments, I appreciate y'all, like, educating on us. It was still a little confusing, but I understand. Yeah. That. Yeah. That's two Let's for 16. Pop. Ambrose's calm demeanor and great height made him an intimidating presence for the opposition. And his vicious mm. bouncers added to this feared reputation. But I'm always <laughs> relaxed. I believe that you got to be relaxed when you're bowling. I'm mm-hmm. supposed to be tense. Mm-hmm. So everything for me is just about the natural relaxation. Although the West Indies team was Still in decline during Ambrose's yeah. career, Super he true. and Courtney Walsh held the bowling department together to become he feels a no duo stress. to be reckoned with. Yeah. He just hit None. that spot over and over. I'm actually, and I'm sorry, we paused pause one too many times, but I, I heard this thing earlier uh, the other day. I think it was on yeah. ESPN. I think they were talking about Joe Burrow, which is an NFL quarterback, for those of y'all that don't know. And his high school coach uh, had sent him to a counselor because he showed such a lack of emotions. <laughs> and the counselor came back and said that he has the traits that if he wasn't a prolific athlete and a quarterback, that he would be a serial killer. <laughs> because that's how calm he is in in hostile situation. He feels no pressure. His heart rate doesn't changes whenever pressure's on or wherever, you know, there's high intensity situation that he's calm, cool, and collective. And the only yeah. comparison to that is prolific athletes and serial killers. And, and my guy, <laughs> that's, that's so what crazy. that's what made me think of that was that he's so calm. <laughs> He has no that's worries. Crazy. He's either that's was going to be a prolific athlete or a serial killer. Thank God he's <laughs> running the cricket world because <laughs> that's a bad man. It is very difficult for any batsman to score runs off him. Number eight, Dale Stain. There is no doubt that Dale Stain is the greatest bowler to come out of the modern cricket era. You know, swing the ball, some oh, crowd coverage. That in there. Naturally aggressive and vicious on his day, Stain was a nightmare for batsmen with the new ball. The South African is responsible for turning the team into test champions in the 2010s, triggering incredible batting oh, wow. collapses as soon as the games began. So he had the raw ingredients, he had the will to want to learn and the will to want to get better. Stain might not have been the fastest bowler, but his zipping outswingers bamboozled batsmen anyway, as no two deliveries That's what I was about to say. The, 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 the wind-up on it doesn't look like it, it cut the way that it yeah. is when you're staring not, at the, at the spin of the uh, at laces. Yeah, not at all. But that thing hooks Injury last second. Yeah. the bowler for much of his career, which denied him from picking up more scalps than he could. Every every cricketer has problems, I can promise you. Luckily, we play in long trousers. If we played soccer, you're, you're more exposed and you can see all the tape all over the place. Yet he still ended up as the leading wicket taker in South Africa's history. I already like her legendary career crap about to remember. Uh, Number seven, <laughs> Malcolm Marshall. <laughs> Malcolm Marshall spearheaded Love West Indies soccer. pace Played attack during their there. heyday in the 80s for what is largely considered the most fearsome bowling lineup in cricket. Oh, wow. Damn. It's up in the air, could be out. Richards is under it. Despite his shorter stature compared to his teammates, Marshall mm. could generate Ooh. great pace to bowl bouncers as dangerous as they come. Simply surviving Marshall's new ball burst was an achievement for batsmen. You know, as the bowler went for attacking yeah. <laughs> Look, looking at that, you you know, in baseball, when you get struck out, you know, the walk back to the dugout is a short walk. So that walk of embarrassment is a short walk. But that is that is a <laughs> long ass walk. In the middle walk. of the pitch. In the middle of the <laughs> that field. is a long ass walk back to the line, <laughs> to put, back to the dugout. Head, and be like, damn, down, you got. Can, damn. Can you see it? They're celebrating the background. He's barely, you know, ten feet away from them. But he still got to go another thirty feet. <laughs> to get to the I, you're, you're right. They walk out. It's done. The cheering slows down. The next batter comes up. Now nah, this dude's got about thirty seconds of embarrassment. That's for sure. <laughs> I just, I just that caught that. That, that was funny. Real. That's hilarious. The of the uh, in the country have got very high regard for him. 
That was a very unwise decision. He tried to block it. Yeah, he ain't gonna block it, bro. So fast and menacing, even if it led to injuries of his own. His bowling average remains the lowest of any bowler with more than 200 wickets, a testament to his consistency. We were sadly robbed of the legend at a young age, but his legacy lives on. Yeah. You look at what Malcolm did and the way he bowled and the way he adapted to conditions, then I think he was pretty much the most complete fast bowler of all time. Wow. Number so, I mean, they have him at seven, but if if his career was cut short. When you think of toe-crushing Yorkers and flying stumps, you think of Wakar Yunus. Damn, the combination of reverse swing nice. and speed made Yunus a sheer force on the field, with most of his dismissals either bold or LBWs. The aggression he displayed brought Yunus admirers from around the world. <laughs> yeah. I like it. It's like Usain Bolt. Hello, Usain Bolt? Oh, oh, that's why. <laughs> I was a big Pakistan fan. No one yeah. believes uh, Waka Yunus and all these guys were my, were my favorite player growing up. Having one of the lowest strike rates that's in the cool. game proves Yunus's ability to dismiss batsmen, creating early breakthroughs in the match to whittle down the opposition's scoring opportunities. Oh, superb delivery. Oh, so he just be he just be taking him out. He don't he don't even waste yeah. his time play with him. He's like, nah, I'm just gonna hit yeah. these wickets. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get on out of here. My question is, mm -hmm. okay, just to you guys who are watching, who are commenting, how far back can you run from? It it feels like they're running from so far back. Like, is there is there a limitation to that, or is it just you know what? I, need I don't. To, think, I need to run. I don't. Yeah, you know what? I don't think we've had anyone answer that question. That, that's a good question because they just talked about how uh, the guy at number eight. I, I'm bad with names, guys, but they said how he had a short run up. His, his yeah. was relatively short, and some of these guys, they 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 coming from the house, uh, yeah. pulling that thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is there is there rules regulations to all that? How how does all that work? It's pretty interesting. We saw Glenn McGrath knock over Brian Lara. Oh, an delivery. That that it, like, it like knuckled. Almost yeah. any player in the world out. Yunus's mastery with the ball was complemented by Wasim Akram. The pair went on to become Adam. the leading bowlers of their generation. But it was Yunus who usually blew through Did the you notice up in his first spell. it destroyed spell. that middle wicket? Number five. It, it oh, yeah, it didn't just knock pieces. it down. It, yeah, it, it shattered. Yeah. I wonder if that's because maybe the wickets were different back in the day and they didn't just fall out. Maybe they actually did break and they would just interchange them? Maybe. All right, maybe we, okay, we, look, we asked for a lot of help here, guys, but that's because we're learning new sport, and we, we like to have conversation with y'all. Let us know. Give us <laughs> yeah, a little, of course. Little, we need a little history lesson. <laughs> did they switch out the wickets? Because now they normally just fall over, but that thing got obliterated. Did he just, yeah. did he just bowl it that fast? Is that, is that what's going on? It was like six pieces on the ground. <laughs> right. <laughs> the thing was, that dude got smashed by Hulk. <laughs> Arguably the greatest cricketer New Zealand has produced, Richard Hadley could change the game with the bat, while his bowling skills were without question. He's gone, mm. yes, beautiful piece of bowling. Yes, he was a two-way player. As a tearaway yeah. bowler in his youth, Hadley was among those responsible for making speed a defining factor in the opening overs of the match. He adapted to the changing environment of the game, delivering balls that moved on just about any surface regardless of the pitch's condition. Mm. Hadley still wow. has some of the highest That's counts of five and ten wicket hauls in tests, along with both. Because I know a lot of comments have told us that you know the condition a, of the ball and the pitch like plays a big part in how they decide the ball and what pitches they decide yeah. to throw. Do with the ball. Hadley's team wasn't strong by any means at the time, which made him the sole anchor for the New Zealanders, winning matches all by himself. Uh, he Jesus. The shining light through that That's decade. crazy. He saw the shining light for many others. My Number dude, four. He ain't the Glenn anchor. McGrath. He's the whole ship. Glenn McGrath is <laughs> the yeah, right. and length can trump fast bowling, as the Australian legend maintained impeccable discipline with where he pitched his deliveries. Very close. It's better than close. 131 McGrath kilometers, McGrath was a bro. mammoth on the big stage, That's racking crazy. up the most Golly. wickets at the World Cup and helping Australia become world champions three times in a row. What McGrath mm. lacked in speed, he more than made up for in bounce. His tall frame enabled him to trouble batsmen with elevated deliveries difficult to put away. Right. Although McGrath's tendency to sledge opponents landed him in trouble, this <laughs> they really tried to get, they tried to block you. Tried. I can do it. I got it. <laughs> no, you didn't. Finishing no, you didn't, his son. career with a wicket off his last <laughs> delivery, and as the man of the tournament in the World Cup.
I think a great thinker about the game, a competitive guy, but also just a wonderful person off the field. Well, Godin is one of the great people of the game of cricket, not only a great performer. Number Matera is the IT painkiller. Remote monitoring and management. Remote access. Help desk and ticket. Number three, Shane Warne. Shane Warne. Warne Master of spin, spin like self-proclaimed. Yeah. I heard apparently Bursting that was a joke. The scene with the that that was a comedy oh, was it? Someone, someone, and let me know if I'm wrong. Some one person commented. They were like that it was there was a comedic, it was a comedic relief joke about him yeah. being the king was, of spin. He was being sarcastic. Yeah, he he's just an old okay. round funny. Funny, yeah. cool guy. He liked to clown around. He was loved around Australia. You know, like you, even in the comments in this video, uh, I noticed uh, people were talking about Shane Warren. They were like, you know, it's crazy how the whole world stopped and prayed for him, the whole world of cricket, whenever he mm. had passed away uh, suddenly. Yeah. You know, so this dude oh, was wow. a, a, tr a true living legend. Yeah. That yeah. remains a marvel to witness. Well, he didn't know where that he ball was coming from. That, that ball. I don't went know to where the, the ball came from. I, I was trying. Can you play it again? Can we? Can we? Can, is there? Isn't there a slow mo option? Can I do a slow mo? Yeah, there is a slow mo option. Go, click on there, play speed, and you can change it. Yeah. I'm putting that. I'm putting that to point five. I need. I need to see that. Means a marvel Means to witness. A marvel. <laughs> Let me see that again. Wow! How, that, bro? That, that ball, ball was going came, this ball, way. First of all, when he threw back. the ball, it went like this. It went like this to bounce behind the the, the the batter, and when it goes behind him, then it curved back Ooh. around. What the hell? <laughs> I'm watching it one more time. Cause like, wait, wait, I'ma pause it right there. All right, this is the ball. It's going in this direction. Yes. And that thing goes from, I think it went from behind its legs and wrapped in. There's it, no, it did. there's it no did. way, there's no way, and it, there's it, no way. I know, it, I wish we had an angle from, the, from behind, which we could have next, but when it goes behind them, did it actually hit the wicket or did the guy catch it and hit the wicket? Because you know you can catch it no, and hit the wicket. it hit the middle of the, it hit the middle wicket. It hit the that's middle crazy. wicket. That's crazy. That now that's in, that's hell impressive. That's, that's impressive. That's insane. That, that's self okay He's the best. <laughs> <laughs> y'all look. Y'all got him at three. Two and one better blow my mind because this one has me like rethinking life, physics, and everything, bro. Like like I just took was... I just took physics. Okay, I'm about to retake <laughs> both courses. Restarting. Okay. <laughs> Take that to the teacher. Explain this. Explain sir, this. Sir. <laughs> How much torque does this need? <laughs> he ushered in a, a new a... age that brought equal respect to spinners compared to fast bowlers as he turned spin bowling into an art form. And he had I such had a, nice a great grip. teaching uh, yeah. as well. close together, but that I need to go back and rewatch it again because I want to be able to identify the different pitches. Or, I'm sorry, not different pitches, but the different like bowls that, every time I see it. Because when we've been watching this, some of them have looked familiar, but like I forget their names. on almost any surface to bamboozle batsmen. His great variation meant that the opposition... You can tell that the batsmen are scared of him. The way that they pace, like whenever the ball's coming, and they like like in this instance, he has no idea where it's going. Yeah, he's stutter like, stepping he, trying he to figure it out. Yeah, he's like, is it going back here? <laughs> <laughs> but he was doing doing the wiggle worm dance or something. I don't know. Like that's how my nephew moves. That's how like everybody that has a toddler, that's how they dance. They <laughs> never knew what to expect, whether it was traditional leg spin or his signature flipper. With such unparalleled skill, Warren easily racked up the most test wickets at the time. The late mm. Australian spin king was a rock star in the cricketing world, known for his exuberance, style, and showmanship. They call him the sure spin there king is a right more there too. Dominant figure yeah, yeah. in my lifetime in sport. If you took one person, then Shane Warne. Number two, Mataya Muraliderin. It's unlikely anyone will ever break Mataya Mura Lidoran's records of most international <laughs> wickets. Yeah, that was, that was nasty. Balls. I'm not going to lie. That was like, like <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I know I know. we keep pausing. And, and like, guys, like those of y'all that are new to our channel, we do do this. We try not to, but we can't help it. We like asking questions and talking. What, but it, 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 it's good for our channel, though. We need to do this. Yeah. What What is this called 
where he makes this style of play right here because I want to see a whole highlight reel of that. Because yeah. that is cr- that. that's it's so sick. It's unlikely anyone will ever break Mataya Mura yeah, record in the most of the national run. wickets. Yes. Five and ten wicket hauls yeah. and yeah. longest tenure ranked as the number one bowler. He was a number one bowler. That's in the that's air, crazy. and it's going to be uh, caught down there, surely. Yes, it is. Yeah. The Lankan Spin there Wizard is, is the most prolific wicket taker in the history of the game. He keeps his he keeps six them so per low, match too. Average He's very tests. different. A lot of the guys Rota go high. Rota he keeps them low, had a low. Of its own at times, They're down by the ankles. Nipping into batsmen from just about any angle. Mm. Although his Dusra was controversial, as its contrast with standard offspin was a deadly weapon in his arsenal. Oh yeah, I want to hear that one more time because I was, I was talking a little too much, guys. Sorry. Although his Dusra was controversial, as its contrast with standard offspin was a deadly weapon in his arsenal. Bowling wise, I only use Dusra and an offspin. That's all, with a different seam. Mora Lideren at his peak guided Sri Lanka so, from so he's small kind, he team to like world beaters. The way that his status the, as the, the first Sri Lankan in, in, in the Hall of Fame uses does different just techniques that, like, that, that work for him, yeah. and I bet that makes it hard on the batsman because like I mean, it's it's just like it's just like with baseball how you have guys that that uh, have have sidearm pitches. Or, mm-hmm. or you know a different wind up that like it can kind of confuse the batter if they're if they're not used to it, and and yeah. I noticed from him he was coming from different angles. It wasn't like he was coming straight on. There was one time he started off running almost straight at the wickets, and he kind of wrapped right and then threw across his body, or, or I'm sorry, bowled across his body. Yeah. So that's interesting. Contribution to the game. The only bowler to take 800 Test wickets. Absolutely marvelous. He's an absolute champion. Only bowler to take 800 and test really, wickets. That's to me, crazy. The best bowler That's to ever crazy. play the game. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe Yo, to our channel want? and ring the bell to What's get Wendy notified doing about our thing? latest videos. <laughs> I'm, I'm cutting this out. If you're on your phone, on make sure you go to your settings and switch on notifications and ring Number those one, bell at Real Fan Sports. Akram. Thank you. What do legends like Brian Lara, Kumar Sangakara, and Glenn McGrath have in common? They all consider Wasim Akram the greatest bowler to ever grace the sport. Oh, wow. Oh. Well, if there was an edge, it was certainly a bottom edge. Having learned from mentor Imran Khan, Akram became a magician who could swing the ball both ways. He also remains the only bowler to take two hat tricks in tests and ODIs. His finest contribution wow. to cricket was mastering reverse swing, using the old ball to remain dangerous throughout the spell of a game. Because he had everything, quick arm action, he could do so much with the new ball, and his bouncer was lethal, <coughs> and with the older ball, we all know what he could bring on the table. Akram mystified wow. with lethal inswingers and outswingers that conjured wickets out of nowhere. Whether it was pace, seam, swing, <laughs> or your it's, it's like when you win the uh, like NBA kinds. championship or whatever, you cut the net, was you take the wickets yeah. home with you. But he <laughs> is the greatest ambassador for what bowling means to cricket. Wow. I personally think that he was one of the best in Pakistan, and also, if you look at the whole world, he was one of the best. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these yes. other clips from Watch Mojo. Yes. Like, may I also uh, say, like yeah, may also say that the lady who does the voiceover for Watch Watch Mojo, mm-hmm. she did an excellent job pronouncing pronouncing those names. Like she hit the the, the curls and the in the R's and the, mm-hmm. the pronunciation. She did a really damn good job. I that was impressed watching. Yeah, yeah, that great. is definitely one of those things where I would have been like, they would have been spoken about there. I would have given them initials. It'd been like A J C T. You know, like, like, like I, I'm not, been, yeah, I'm I'm not trying to. You know, right. I don't wrong. want to disrespect them by yeah. saying it wrong. Exactly, yeah. exactly. That was a damn good video. That was a great video. That was a great yeah. video. I like, I like these that. educational like like videos where we actually get a little bit of background knowledge. You know, see the things and are able to ask more questions and, and, and start to really understand this sport more and more. I mean, this is our, I think, our fourth or fifth cricket video, and we're kind of just yeah. diving into it. And things are starting to be yeah. recognizable as we're going through. Like, I'm starting to see some of these different bowls and recognizing how they're spin, how they're holding it. Don't remember it exactly, but I'm like, okay, I know this. I don't know what it's called, but I know this. I've seen this. Yeah. And, I, and, I, I've seen and, I'm, and I'm loving it. And I'm loving it. And I can't wait to yeah. uh, continue to do some more. So, you know, those of y'all in the comments, give us some more recommendations. Leave some links in the comments. We uh, look at every single comment that comes across our channel, and we truly appreciate y'all for stopping, clicking on the video. And if you're still here, yeah. smash that like button and hit the subscribe button as well. 
join in. We are Real Fan Sports. My name is Zach. My name is Nonfiction. And we are your fanos for the evening. You have anything else to say, Non? Appreciate you. Love you. Catch you on the next one. Cheers. Peace out.